Welcome to the Palumbo Center, where the third and final session of the WPIAL Championship Weekend has been played out, and we have crowned two more champions. I'm Chris Shovlin for the Pittsburgh Sports Report. Shaler's girls and the Gateway boys win WPIAL titles here tonight in the final session, the doubleheader involving the Quad A teams in the WPIAL championships. And right now, let's start off by recapping the night's action showing you the victory by the Shaler Titans. A 41-35 upset over the Mount Lebanon Blue Devils. And there was a lot of good work by the Titans being done here tonight. As a matter of fact, they scored the first four points of the game and then all of a sudden went into a big, big slump. Mount Lebanon with dribble drives like that one from Kelly Johnson and pull-ups by that one by Madison Cable and then the putback by Jordan Holmes. Uh, really caused some damage for the Shaler Titans. They looked like they were going to be out of this ball game as Mount Lebanon started romping. But they battled back in the third period of play. And a comeback indeed it was. The Shaler Titans getting a great performance off the bench from Domachowski here tonight. And our player of the game is number 24, Shannon Powell, who hit for eight points, 13 rebounds, and her free throws were clutch at the tail end of the game. As a matter of fact, Shaler's rally, during that rally, they outscored Mount Lebanon 31 to seven, starting in the third period of play. Mount Lebanon hit just nine of 60 field goal attempts in that game. And the Blue Devils, the longtime favorites to win the Quad A crown again, fall by the wayside tonight, an upset victim from the Shaler Titans. They went at 41 to 35. So Mount Lebanon was the defending WPIL Quad A champion and the two-time defending state champion as well. They fall tonight. Congratulations to Shaler. Right now, let's recap the boys' action here tonight, and it was the Gateway Gators. Everybody's pick in Quad A basketball. They come up with a victory despite some great outside shooting from Chartier's Valley. And the Colts really gave him a game here this evening. As a matter of fact, Wayne Capers had a tremendous outing, and so did Matt Noska. He hit some long threes, but Gateway came back and got great performances from Boyce, their point guard. How about the long shot? Michael Corbett hit a couple of critical threes here tonight, but Char Valley and Gateway duked it out. As a matter of fact, Gateway, give them a lot of credit. Good quality shots, great decision making, a total team effort. Chartier's Valley tried to keep the game close with some deep threes, but Gateway always seemed to have an answer. Char Valley had a run in the third period, but it was too much Gateway for Chartier's Valley. And our player of the game tonight, Tyler Scott. Fantastic effort here tonight. 20 points, six rebounds. Scott also with three assists, and he was five of six from the free throw line tonight as the Gateway Gators under head coach Mitch Adams win their first ever WPIAL basketball title. They take the Quad A championship. Again, the final score, Gateway 58 and Chartier's Valley 53. So again, we congratulate the girls from Shaler and the boys from Gateway for winning the Quad A crowns here in the final session of the WPIL championships. And that's our Pittsburgh Sports Report wrap up here tonight from the Palumbo Center on Comcast and Xfinity TV. I'm Chris Shovlin.